Okay, it's a little later on now, so I guess it's time to make that bootable USB drive. On my very Windows 98 looking Windows 10 setup. This is the same Windows 10 that you saw earlier. I just got the classic skin applied now. So, we're going to Rufus. Already got the flash drive in there, which had the Linux Mint on it. Well, I'm afraid that's going to have to go, but that's no big loss because I can always put it back on there. But, oh, God, I don't care. I'm trying to do this thing. Let's see, where is it? Where is it? There it is. So let's put AME on there. Yep, I know it's going to delete everything, so, uh, yeah. And when I come back, I'm going to have a different hard drive in this computer, and I'm going to have to go over to the, uh... Yeah, we don't need to see the files going onto it. And I'm going to have to go over to the camera, because there's no way I'm going to be able to do a direct screen capture anymore. Okay, well, let's get on installing Windows 10 AME. And I'm afraid the majority of the rest of this video, probably the entirety of the rest of this video, is going to have to be done with the old 2007 method of sticking a camera in front of the screen. But first, before we install Windows AME, let's just take a look at all the stuff that's running on my current Windows 10 installation. Let's go into Services. Just have a look at all of this. There must be at least a hundred services running here. At least a hundred. Now let's go into Performance and have a look at what's going on on the Ethernet side of things. You see that? There is data being transferred. Who knows where it's going? And who knows where it's coming from? Well, I do know where it's going. It's going to Microsoft. And coming from Microsoft. But what data is being sent? What is my computer and Microsoft communicating about? Kind of worrying, isn't it? You don't know what's being sent and you don't know what's being received. And let me just remind you, I have nothing running here, except for the task manager. Okay then, got a spare hard drive in there, and the USB with Windows 10 AME on it. I think I've got all of this how it should be, so... Let's see if it works. Alright then, let's see what we got. I hope it's going to install it on the spare hard drive. And I'll install it on the um, other hard drive that I've got in there. I've got all my videos and stuff on there, although I wouldn't be too sad if something happened to that, although I do have all my music I made on there, so careful. I'll just skip this for now because. because that's how you're supposed to do it. Yeah, let's keep files and settings. Right then, well we don't want to install it onto this drive, because that wouldn't be very good, would it? We want to install it on this drive. Didn't realise there had two partitions on there, but it doesn't really matter. Let's go to next. Next. Ne-effing. Okay, I don't know what the deal is with this, but I just simply... I formatted the disk, so that hard drive now has nothing on it. Recreated the partitions, and I've only let me install it onto partition 4, I don't know why, but... We'll try that anyway, see what happens. Well, now we're in business, so I'm just going to pause the camera until this is done. Yeah, this is the boring bit. I want to wait for all of this to install. Alright, well, that all went without a hitch. The only problem is, I don't know if it needs to continue booting from the USB or not. So I'm just going to let the computer do what it does. I just realised that the picture on the camera is absolute crap right now. Crud all over the lens. I think it is going to boot from the hard drive. I mean, the USB, isn't it? Does that clear up all the smudges on the lens? No, it hasn't. A big 
smudge right at the bottom there. Of course, if the camera would actually focus in on the screen rather than... Uh, yeah, this would be a lot better. I'm waiting, as Sonic would say. Yes, I'm a furry because apparently if you're a fan of Sonic, you're a furry. Although, I'm more of a fan of Tails, as you probably know. Look, oh, that looks like... That's a very familiar picture, isn't it? Is the camera going to focus in the... Oh, no, it's good. It's going to blur out again. I don't know why my motherboard is... The name of my motherboard is still there. That's kind of weird. I'm sure when I was installing Windows 10, you know, the... The Windows 10 that I normally use, it didn't do that, but... I have no idea what's going on. I don't know if the computer's just thinking. Or if it's crashed. It's impossible to say right now. Oh, we got something. I guess it was just thinking. Alright, here we are. Here's Windows 10 AME. I don't know what the password is. I'll just try anything, see if anything happens. Yeah. I'll go on the website and try and find it. Okay then, well, after hours and hours and hours of digging on Google, I think I found the password and the username, so let's see if that works. Probably won't, but we can try something. Put in user and the password M-A-L-T-E. Am I take that in right? I think this will show it, won't it? Okay. Does that work? Oh, what do you know? And for some reason the image is off the screen, but, you know. We'll get in there. Let's see if I... Right click, see if I can find a way to... S sort that out. Yeah, 1024 by That's not what I want to use. Well, at least I can see everything now. Let's see how the start menu looks. Yeah, very compact. See Microsoft Edge is still here. Alright, well, let's see what version of Windows this is. Is it 64-bit or 32-bit? It doesn't say, does it? <laughs> Just like I found out, we are indeed on a 64-bit OS. So that's good. I think I may have to install my graphics card driver here. Alright, so let's just yeah, let's just install that. I'll try that password again, see if that will work. Okay, yeah, I guess I am the administrator. Alright then, I'll just install the, the driver from the graphics card and then I'll be back and then we'll see if it can see if it can run a few games. Okay, well, it says it's installed it. I'm just going to yank that USB out, because I don't think it needs it anymore. Alright, restart. Let's see what's happened. Looks like it's installed the sound and graphic um, Ethernet drivers by itself. The graphics card driver is the only one I needed to install. Well, I'll wait for this to restart, and I'll be back. I just noticed this camera is absolutely crazy. Alright. Let's see what happens now. I think, I may be wrong, but I think it's actually in a higher resolution now. And again, I'm going to have to pause the camera while it thinks. Okay, do we have my AMD graphics card driver? That should be a catalyst thing at the top there, it's not showing. If I can install my graphics card driver, well, this project is just going to end right here. There is one thing I'm going to do. I'll bring up the task manager. Now let's just have a look, see what we... If there's anything being sent or received. And what, it's taking up 10% of my CPU? Details. I mean, performance. Let's go down to Ethernet. Well, I don't call this removing the telemetry. 
There is still data being received and transmitted. They said they were supposed to stop all that. Doesn't look like that to me. I'll try and install the thing again. This time, running as administrator. I still don't think it did anything. It should have taken at least a minute to do that. Alright, let's see if we can force this driver to install. Because I still only have the basic display adapter, which is crap. We want proper drivers. Alright, well, first of all we'll just do search automatically, hopefully it will find the thing. Alright, let's try Windows Update. No, I don't want this. Okay, it simply is not going to do that, so I'm going to... Well, we'll go into the... we'll go into the disk. Doesn't know where the driver is. It's on here. Oh, yeah, Vista and XP? That's got to be at least a Windows 7 folder in there. I will we'll try this one, see. Oh, yeah, it says it's installing drivers. The disk is spinning up. Is it actually going to install the driver? That's the question. Oh, that looks promising. Ah, there we go. Windows has successfully updated your drivers. Asus... blah blah blah. And I think we're on full 10, 1920 by 1080 now. Still don't see the ATI control panel, but let's just see what resolution we're running at now. Of course, it's staring me right in the face, and I didn't see it. Okay, yeah, 1920 by 1080. Okay. Well then, now we've finally got the drivers installed. Let's see if we can run a game. I'm going to do um, know, the Sonic Explorer's demo here. Let's, let's just extract that there. What do you mean it's invalid? Alright, open the zip file. Uh, maybe I should have installed 7-zip. Alright. Let's install Sonic Zones instead. Let's see if that'll work. Alright then, let's see if it can run a game. Turn my sound down a little bit. If the graphics work, I'll know that my graphics card has been successfully installed. All right, let's go to settings. Put this on to so 1280 by 720, full screen. Let's have vertical sync on as well. Hmm. I do not want to go to Aztec Forest. I played that and it sucks. Let's go to City. I have no idea what that's going to be. Uh, yep, yeah, this seems to be working, and this is basically how good I am at video games. Alright, so I'm just seeing if online gaming is working, so I'm playing some Sonic Robo Blast 2 Kart here. It's probably not going to land on the one I've, uh, track I voted for. No, of course not. I am absolutely rubbish at this game, everybody's beat me. I haven't played this for a while and I can't even remember which button is drift and which button is to use. Things. Damn it, Donkey Kong, do you have to keep dropping your bananas everywhere? Alright, I've installed Media Player Classic. The video seems to play, so. Let's see if flash animations play. This is some of my experiments. Yep, that seems to work. Let's find another one. Oh, here's one you might recognize. Hello, I'm from the government and I'm here to help. Are you scared? Are you so scared you are pooping in your pants? Good. Yep, 
I think we're good there. Okay, well, apart from the difficulties I had in installing the graphics driver, so far, everything I've thrown at it's worked. So that's really good. Like I said, it only took about 10 minutes to install, so that's another good thing right there. Now all it really needs is a web browser. I can get access to any other computers on the network. Right now, this folder you're seeing right now is one of the public folders on my laptop, which I'm accessing over the Wi-Fi. I'm just seeing if I have a browser in here that I could install. No, it doesn't look like it. Because although it says, um, let me see it here. Now you see Microsoft Edge here, that's not actually here, if you know what I mean. It's just a shortcut is there. Not that I'd be using that anyway. Alright, well, download the Firefox on my laptop. I'm running the file across the Ethernet. I mean, Wi-Fi, well, Wi-Fi and Ethernet, because this computer's wired and laptops are wireless. You know, okay, that's what it's about. M-A-L-T-E, I think. Is that the right password? Yeah. Okay. Signed into Firefox and syncing everything. Yeah, I really don't need to know about all of this. Out of all the things... Just get me to my YouTube and stuff. Yeah. Like I'm going to watch the trending stuff. It's all garbage. All of it. But I don't have a smartphone, so how am I supposed to do this? Fortunately, I do have one of these, though. Has this camera been zoomed in all the way? Oh, no, it's not okay. I thought it was. Alright, we'll try yes on my phone or tablet. Check my device. Oh, no, that just automatically came up. I didn't even do anything. Okay, yes, it is me. Which number do I see on the other screen? About 88. Okay. Are we in now? Is it verified? Yeah, there we are. This is all recommended stuff. Tails has uploaded a video. So far, I'm pretty impressed with this. Everything that I've thrown at it, that I know will work on Windows 10, has worked. Here I am using the 64-bit version of OpenMod Pro Tracker. This isn't one of my own tunes, by the way. This was made by someone apparently called Fear of Dark. Alright, as a last resort, I'm going to use Snappy Driver Installer here. Hopefully I can get everything done properly with this. Well, here we go. Hopefully this will fix all those problems. It probably won't, but... We can only hope. That didn't work. So, I'm going to download a driver. The one that's on the disk should have been good enough. It worked on the other version of Windows 10. So I'll go and download a driver it's installing. Hopefully this will fix all the problems. I've no idea by now. At this point, I've no idea. It should install all the drivers, but at this point I've got absolutely... Well, finally managed to get the drive graphics drivers installed. Just playing some GameCube here, seeing if this works. It's looking good. Sigma Alpha 2 heading due south over the city. We're en route. Everything's a go. This is Control Tower. We have you on radar. Report cargo status of captured Hedgehog aboard. Over. Is that the helicopter always had a hole there? I don't know. just noticed that. Yes, Sonic, what do you think you're doing? It's suicide. You're absolutely crazy.
and Sonic fell to his death. I'm not going to bore you with tons of hours of gameplay. Yep, this is working, and this is using the OpenGL link, which wasn't working before. Oh, uh, look who it is. Stop doing that, I'm trying to hurt Amateur. You know, some people think that all I play are Sonic games. That's not true. Here I am, clearly playing a Mario game. Mario Kart Double Dash Effect. I just thought I'd record this to point that out. And I was going to try Super Mario Galaxy, but trying to emulate a Wiimote with one of these is impossible. So I'm having a look to see if I can install the gadgets. Okay, now we're getting somewhere. Let's just change it to Celsius. There we go. I've got everything done now. There we go, we're all set up now. And yep, we've got the AMD Catalyst Control Center. And an OpenGL driver that's working. Now I'm going to play some Super Smash Bros. Brawl because at least I can use an emulated GameCube controller with this game. Yeah, and people say all oh, I play is Sonic games. Well, all in all, I can say this was a 100% successful uh, whatever. Apart from the hiccup with installing the graphics display drivers, but yep, yeah, it's all here now. So I'm going to stay with this for about a week or so, and then tell you what I think. So until next time, goodbye.